Hey you guys, um, my name is Avery and today I'm going to give you guys a little tutorial on um, how to edit your game footage and I know that this is something that lots of you want to know how to do because I mean you may have an HTPVR or a Dazzle or whatever and you really um, you don't know what to do with it so what I'm going to do today is show you how to do that so what you want to go is go to first off you want to make sure you have your recording and if you're on a Mac which is what I'm on and this is what it's going to be for um, you're going to want to go to your finder and it will probably be in movies if you directed it to that so click in movies and you can see all of your things make sure it's there so that's the first step then what you want to do is go into iMovie or uh, I'm, I'm, this is going to be a tutorial for iMovie so you want to open up iMovie which is here and what you're going to want to do is go to file come on why is it taking so long file yeah cancel because I opened a new project file and then um, import from movies and um, what I don't like optimizing the video because it adds ripples in it and I don't like that so uh, you can choose any one you want I've already imported some footage so that's uh, already taken care of so we can you would press import and actually I think that's it you would probably make you might want to make a new event by doing that save to the only hard drive you have and make sure you move files that will be a lot quicker than copying them but that deletes the old files so I mean if you want to use them for something else as well maybe that's not the right the best idea so what you want to do is that first thing you're going to do is make a new project that is also command M N command N sorry so what will we name it? we'll name it tutorial okay so aspect ratio is fine um, because I'm doing HD that's what I want um, you can automatically add some um, what's it called transitions I'm not going to so I'm just gonna say create and it will show up right here there it's just loading there there it is um, so here's all your little tabs in here of different things you can use there is a um, right here come on oh my god why is it being so slow Okay, so this is your music, and you can go to GarageBand that you've already recorded. You can go to iTunes and pick out all of your iTunes songs. All of your iTunes songs. Um, so there's all your little uh, tabs from iTunes. You can move this down so you can see it better. Um, you can go to your sound effects and your other sound effects. So then if you go over here, these are going to be your photos. Um, so here's all your photos. And then this is all your iPhotos and your photo booth tabs. Here's your uh, your titles. So here's all your titles you can use. Here are your transitions. Um, it gives you an example of the, what the transition does if you just put your mouse over it. So like that. And here are your globes and backgrounds. So that's basically all there is over here. Here is what you would use. This is just the... Uh, inspector for the clip so if I go like this if it yeah so this little red bar is where your cursor is so if I uh, so if I click there and I, if I go over to here and press that I can go to analyze entire clip change the video of the entire clip and everything just like that this is for cropping so you can change how it's cropped. This is for doing voiceovers. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, this is what is this keywords? So you can uh, add a keyword. So if you you want to know if it's indoor, outdoor, if it's of a landscape and stuff like that. Um, these are just you don't really need to know what those are. This is just gonna click on that for your cursor. This is to import from the camera, and this is to switch the project disk, put it there, and this over here. So that's basically it. This is going to play full screen. This is just going to play. And that's really all you need to know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a clip I want. And let's see. Let's just take this whole one. 
of scrap here. How about that? So take a so move your little red bar over where you want to take it from. Click down and drag all the way to the end of the clip. So scroll down while you're still clicking. I'm sorry, my computer is really slow because I'm recording audio and this video at the same time. So it should be to about you can't take it too far. Um, let's say to here. I'll just stop it at here. There. So then what you want to do is you're going to get this little hand thing, drag it over, and it's going to have the little plus sign, then add. It's very simple. It says drag media here to make a new project, so you can just do that. Let me see how long this will be going for. There we go. Um, so then we got all our media in here. So what we're going to do now is if we want to do some uh, editing, so kind of taking out a few parts. So if we want to take out a part from the very start, go to here, put your cursor on the very start, and drag it over the part you want to delete. So say I want to delete that. Right click, and say cut, or delete selection. I like just to say cut, cut, and then it's gone. So, um, the next thing we are going to want to, I'll show you, is how to cut something from the middle. So, if you do this, you can do it from the middle the same way. And then just cut. But then, so here, I'll show you how to edit the, uh, well, that's basically all you need to know about cutting. So, now what I'm going to show you is the editing aspects. So, what you're going to go is to here and it's going to automatically select this whole clip so the whole clip so click that again and the precision editor and clip trimmer are basically just trimming the clip from start from this end to that end so you can make it shorter or longer and the precision editor is just editing it with more precision like to the to the millisecond instead of just to the to uh, where you think it should be so if I go to clip adjustments, what I can do is convert the clip, and that will take a long time. But what it allows me to do is um, make it faster or slower in some parts. So I won't do that just for the time's sake. And then I can smooth the clip motion, which I don't need to do because it's not from a camera. So I can just unclip that. Which will take a few seconds. Um, so that's basically all you can really do in the clip area. Um, you can make it, you can change the duration. But now I'll click on video. And these are your color levels. So if you wanted to do some color adjustments, so t say I take this and pull it here. So now I see what everything looks like. And say I want to make it more, um, I want to make it pop more. The whites pop and the blacks a little bit more. You can drag these so that the blacks are higher, right? And maybe if I want to make it a bit less bright, I can drag the, the whites. I mean, if I want to make it a bit more exposed, I can drag the whites a bit. So if I do that, it's completely white. You cannot cross these. So I want to make the black a little bit more, and I want to make the whites a little bit more. So it's more, uh, so it pops more when you look at it. That's why I want to move this over. See, that looks very nice. Um, so now what you can do is change the exposure, and that just makes, basically does the same thing as the whites, except um, it does more than just the whites. So I'll make it expose it a little more, and because I'm making the whites and uh, darks more intense, I'm going to want to make it more saturated so the colors show more. So that's black and white. Basically, this I can move up. And the contrast, I want to move up a little bit to make it a little bit more contrast between the whites and darks. And the brightness I maybe want to lower a bit. Or raise. I think I want to lower a tiny bit. So the, this is basically so you can uh, change the white point. So if I change it to like 
here the video starts changing color so let's just put it back in the middle okay so click done and it will change the whole video to that so now that's what it looks like and so that's going to be the end of the first little uh, segment the next segment will be um, audio editing and with that kind of uh, aligning your clips to music so that will be more for the montage type guys so that's gonna be it thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time